Okay, so... Steel Blue and Felthos. Winner of this moves on to fight Google Frog. And that I... one is... Sorry? Um, the, the winner versus Google Frog will be best of three, and this is best of one. This is best of one, next one is best of three. After that is best of three, but the loser's bracket needs to actually win. Like, whoever right. wins between Google Frog and the winner of Steel Blue and Felthos needs to be drawn twice in order <laughs> twice. to win. Twice. Yeah, That's two right. best of threes in order to win. Well, you remember how this went last time, right? Yeah, Drone pulled it. Drone did a perfect run back. It's beautiful. Sorry, not Drone. Go Gouda did a perfect Gouda. run back. Right, right. Yeah. But we'll see if Google Frog pulls off that same sort of run back. Be quite the trick. It's tough. It's really <laughs> tough. No doubt. Of course, what's really painful is when you're super close to the run back and then you lose right at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that actually happened. I was watching one of... One of the Skullgirls players who actually won the Skullgirls tournament was also playing in Mortal Kombat X and Combo Breaker. And they basically got to... They got the loser's bracket. They fought all the way back. They got to the second grand finals. They got two and two in best of five. Because I think... Because, yeah, their best their grand finals is best of five. Most of their stuff is best of five because Mortal Kombat's weird. Anyway, they had... It was two and two. The match itself was one and one because it's you have to win two rounds in order to win the match. And then you mm -hmm. have to win three matches to win the entire round. Mm -hmm. So it was as even as it could be with both their health bars one combo away and he messed up his mix up and lost. Uh, oh. It was the closest it could possibly be. Wow. Yeah. It was so, so disappointing. Oh, heartbreaking. And I was rooting for him so much. Yeah. Everyone loves a good comeback. Yeah. Then the fact that he's just a player we all the Skullgirls root for, except in Skullgirls. No. Oh. <laughs> we root for him in every game but ours. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. But he win in our game too, so yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay, so it looks like What's uh what's the delay here? I, they're not sure if they want to use this map or not. Oh. Yeah. Because Orphelius just sort of threw it up, and uh -huh. Anarchid never actually pointed out a map to use because they didn't think of the fact that <sighs> there is a loser's pre-finals. Right, right. I mean, they might be thinking that this should be using hide and, hide and seek, using Wanderlust. I don't know. Duke Nukem, I think, would no. be a good choice. <laughs> Besides, I might get a copyright strike or something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like Felthos Steel Blue agree to use this one, so we should be fine. Great. Oh, the sun's rising. <laughs> yeah, same here. It was so dark when I woke up. Yep. All right, so we are on to the losers' pre finals. Fourth place match between Felthos and Steel Blue. Belthos is probably favored to win, but we'll see how this goes because I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with Steel Blue, uh, really at all. There's play style. I've but, watched uh, them a few times, but I can't pin down a play style to them. Hmm. I can't really think of how they play in any particular fashion. Like they're good, but otherwise, I don't really know. Yeah, seems to be the case. I guess we'll have to see here. Light vehicles. Interesting. I guess they want to go Against for the shields. better build power masons? I can't remember if that better build power. Mm, I think they're I think they're just kind of fast and a little tanky. Five. Yeah, I think they like, are. Amphib would make sense because of the higher build power for the right. red flame. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the uh thought process is here. I feel like Shield's gonna have a pretty easy time dealing with it on this oh, map, especially. That's the thought process. Rush. Scorcher <laughs> Rush. Five Scorcher Rush. Dive the commander. Expect that they're going to go for Reclaim and just punish them for it. Yeah, this is a uh, Trollo commander. Looks like he might be pushing with... No, he's going to keep that back at the base. Probably Yeah. Not. However... I don't know. It doesn't look like that's going to work. Failthos, they are not going heavily economic. They're yeah. not playing this map as an economy map, as a Reclaim map. They're, they went mildly economic, but now they're going to spot this out with the Dirtbag. Like Steel Blue basically has to push out now, and they don't want to. Yeah. But they're going to have to. It's been spotted. Let's see what Phil Toss does. Well, at I this would point, expect him. There we go. 
Slowing Lotus. down an LT super fast. I mean, they were already setting down defenses, so it's not surprising. This really doesn't sure. change much. And yeah, Steel Blue pushing out. Their hand has been forced. Getting up to a Mason Ooh. as well. Now they're trying to go for a slightly longer game, realizing they're probably not going to win the rush, <laughs> but they're going to go for it anyway. Give it a good yeah, old call a try. Scorchers are ill-fated. I just... I mean, this no, so clearly they're, isn't they're going dead. to work. I just... I don't know why you would donate the medal. I'm trying, but... Uh, Barely makes it to the commander before it dies. Oof. That is unfortunate, but unfortunate. But uh, I'm sure Phil Toss is happy about the reclaim. Yeah, exactly. See, what I'm Pokemon. curious about is why, if they were going for a cheese, they went for straight center. They had the entire west side. They could have gone a bit further south or north. That way, the yeah. dirtbag would have had a harder time. Delayed the scout. Exactly. And at least one yeah. of the scorches is going to have a nice little dodge game here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do much, but it at least stops the bandits from attacking. Buys a bit of time, lets more scorches be built up. Steel Blue just pushing forward. It looks like, yeah, they're going forward with the commander. They want the hero commander. Yeah. And Fail Thoughts. going to morph it to level 2. Yeah, it is a rocket commander. It is, but I don't know what they're going to do. He might as well, see, he might as well have just held on to the scorches. If he was going to push with a rocket commander, you know, just wait for him to ball up at least. Yeah. I think Steel Blue just panicked. Like, oh shit, I've been scouted. I gotta just go and make the best of it. It's like, no, not quite. Yep. Not necessarily. You you aren't completely broken yet. See, and it wasn't too heavy of an investment in the rush. Like he had he had like three raiders on the field when it got scouted. So if he had just held on to those and used them as normal raiders, it, he would have been fine. He could have yeah, played a normal game. That's 400 metal. They didn't have to have wasted like that. Yeah, hey, exactly. Anyway, that was a lot of metal. They did not have to use that metal. Precisely. I mean, yeah, it would have been kind of risky because it's no longer the rush. But still, this map is weird. Yeah. But it looks like Steel Blue is still going for it. They still have their five, eventually. He's trying to lock down this factory, it looks like, with his rocket commander. But uh, as soon as this racketeer comes up, it will be uh, GG, I'm sure. Unless, well, that's unless timing. Scorchers. Look, it's basically seven seconds, five seconds before the racketeer comes up. And it's going to take two shots, at least, take, I think, three for the commander. Maybe the Scorchers could dive in and stop it. There we go. Yeah, that's what they're planning on doing. It's going to take two shots. Oh, no. Come on. No, the Scorches definitely need to dive in. I don't know if they're going to go for it. I mean, they'll they'll win if they do, but it's just... I don't know. Steel Blue, Steel he's Blue, totally... You... Oh, he's in a good position to make this work. He just needs to dive. There we go. We see the dive. Commander dive. Commander's Commander down. dead. Taking uh, out a couple bands, but losing all the Scorchers. Scorchers. That was a bad burst response. He can still lock down the factory, though. Yes. There's a great position right on the doorstep here. If you can stop stop Raiders from coming out of this factory, I mean, it's one game. A uh, couple of constructors up to the north that Failtoss snuck away, but without this commander, uh, Failtoss is probably going to be a little bit lost um, since he relies on it so heavily to push with his uh, defenses. Okay, so that's one That's one more metal extractor down. We don't see the Lotus down, though. But these Scorchers can nestle in behind this factory and take it out right now. Yeah, that's scary. Felthos right now, I think they're trying to go around. Right, they're repairing, they're trying to keep themselves in position, because as long as they can keep the units alive and in a nice ball, they can push in afterwards. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe he can wait for uh, Steel Blue to suicide these Scorchers and then uh, to clean up the commander afterwards, because that commander's helpless against these raiders um, without the stack defenses, at least. But, but how to clear yeah, the yeah, stack How do you get through that? That's the only thing. Because the man commander's also getting missed now. The disarm missile's not working. And the Scorch is moving in for what looks like the final attack, which will put Steel Blue into the loser's finals. Wow. Although, maybe not. The bandits are still putting up a good fight. I mean, if Field Toss comes back from this, it'll certainly... It's, it's an impressive game, either way, really. Yeah, well, it looks point. like... Okay, the defenders are no longer well defended. Oh, this factory's going down. The factory's going down, but the bandits are still alive. And Steel Blue's commander is still... Oh! Is not a threat! Uh -oh. Being disarmed for four seconds. Uh-oh. Taking he that out. Okay, that's commander. done. Steel Blue oh, loses no. the commander. But the burst... The burst kills it! So awkward. The calm burst is what finishes the game off. If wow. Feldos did not lose the bandits to the commander's explosion, oh. they would have won this game. Oh. Wow. That was or at least they would have had a way out of it. They would not necessarily have won, but they would have, they would have been able to stabilize. Yeah. But it was yeah, a commander explosion. People don't respect the commander explosion it's enough. Nice. We only need the last one or two raiders to finish it off. Yeah. That's, like uh, one, ideally. And then the rest yeah. of them run away. 
and then fight everything else. Like, normally it's it doesn't come up. Normally you build enough that it seems to not matter, but in that case, oh yeah, it's totally huge. matters. Critical, yeah. Well, I mean, boy, that was a great game. I love that. That was pretty short, too. Five minutes? Not bad. Not even. A salvaged, a salvaged score. Oh, no, sorry, six minutes. To rush. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, well done, Steel Blue. So, Steel Blue is now in Losers Finals. <laughs> I, I mean, congratulations. That was... Uh, that's an upset, clearly. Totally. So, he's but playing... They're Google playing Google Frog. Frog. Yeah. In a best of three. Yes. So, we'll see what they can pull off. Oh, boy. Anyway, I'm gonna... Yeah, hey, I'm gonna step away for just a minute. I'll be back. It'll... Two to three minutes. Okay.